Hey, hi, hello everyone. It is no secret that I love Dubsado for client management. And so this is a little teaser video that I'm about to provide from our full course on using Dubsado as a stationary designer, which you can access on Skillshare for two months for free with a link below. And there are so many capabilities when it comes to Dubsado that you will see in just a minute in this video. So make sure you check out the full course on Skillshare with the link in our profile. You can also access 20% off of Dubsado your first month or year using our code designed by Lainey or clicking the link in our description, of course. Questionnaires are last, but certainly not least. They're so, so helpful and flexible. You can basically collect any information that you want on them. We're gonna, of course gonna head back to this templates form section and you see the questionnaires. I have so, so many, way more of those than anything else. Part of this is because my business reboot camp is set up entirely on questionnaires. There's a workout every day for a month. So as an example, here's our third workout, which is about priorities. I've got a logo, title, some text, fields, questions, boxes of various sorts, and even this really fun GIF at the end, RIP Alan Rickman. Um, if you ever wanna add a GIF, then the way you do that is by using this code block and embedding directly from a Giphy or any other GIF site. You'll also see I have one for save the date information, and I have something like this wildflower wreath suite. I have a different questionnaire for every uh, one of my collection suites, which has pictures of that suite and the information that we're going to need specifically for that suite as that varies slightly between all the different collections. But for invitations, my two favorites are right here, the invitation design questionnaire and the invitation information questionnaire. All my custom clients get this information one and they also get the design one if we haven't fully figured out that situation yet via phone or meeting or something. This one will ask questions about their story, um, how did they meet, where are they getting married, their preferences that they can select, where they shop, et cetera. And it's also got a nice file uploader for any inspiration photos. But this invitation information questionnaire is absolutely vital. It's the one that I just could not live without. We like to use um, inclusive language, which is very important to us, like spouse A and spouse B instead of bride and groom, in case we have clients that are same sex, non-binary, or trans. You see that we have um, open-ended questions, yes, no, short response, date select, all different types of questions on here. There's a few different options in this RSVP section that will incur additional fees. So we just list that here, and then we go through as we're checking it off and add those through the invoice if they decide to select those. At the bottom, we remind them of the time frame for the preliminary round of proofs that starts once this questionnaire is completed. You can leave some boxes optional or require them, which we've done with a few up here. Your client will be able to submit a draft of the questionnaire as long as all of the required fields are filled in. Then they will not be able to make changes after they submit the final draft. Our other favorite questionnaire is this day of questionnaire. We built it out with a few options included already and just edit it for each client before sending over. That way we get all the final information in one place instead of working through 5,000 emails every time. So first they actually have to select their in hand date in case that's different than like the day before their wedding. Like if they're going out of town a week before, they'll need them all in hand a week before I would have originally thought. And then they have to actually select the, the date that things are due in order to allow for that in hand date. So this just helps them play an active role in that so they remember the dates better. The S work hard section includes a lot of information like our paper and ink color charts and common choices they'll have to make here. They can also upload their Excel sheet right here and I remind them of a setup fee to make changes after the due date. So we don't only charge the cost of the escort card if they make a change. We charge a $25 setup fee as well to encourage them to get all of their changes in at once. I automatically include a few sign options and just fill these in based on what the client needs. For instance, I may change this title to um, 8 by 10 bar sign before sending it over or 5 by 7 guest book sign, etc. Or if you don't need one section, you can just delete it. When you put things in columns like this, they actually can be deleted all at once, which is super helpful. Or you can always copy an entire column section if you need to add that back in. Menus are a very common product for us as well, so if they're needed 
they go here. If we do programs, it's actually just a copy of these menu boxes, but with the word programs up here because they have pretty much the same choices. And of course, there's another file uploader here at the bottom in case they want to upload some inspiration photos. I'd like to reiterate how absolutely amazing this form is because it removes all confusion. I will always reply to an email about color choices, but if I've forgotten what we talked about by the time I'm actually starting on the escort cards, I can go into the questionnaire to see what the client ultimately decided. I don't have to search for the most up-to-date guest list, sign tax, menu update, escort card ink color. Then we send all the proofs via one of those subcontracts that we showed you earlier, so that's all in one place as well. So this little form will house all the information we need for every client, and it'll always rest with all the other forms in their form section. So if we need to make any edits before sending it over, we can do that only within this job, just for Patty and Doug. And then whenever we're ready to start working on these projects, we can come right here and we have all the text that we need. We can copy and paste into Illustrator. We can do whatever we need to do, but we have all that information right here in one place as well as, for instance, if they say that they need, you know, final quantity is a little bit higher than they had on their invoice, we have that right here. I can just click back over to the invoice tab and up the quantity of escort cards there. So it just makes our life easier to have everything in one place here. If we do email back and forth a lot with the client, sometimes we'll just copy and paste those into this note section, or this is where we'll take notes if we have a call with them, so that again, we've got the notes, we've got the forms, we've got the invoice and all emails we've seen here, as well as you can see when they've opened them, when the last time they've looked at them. So you can see if they're working on the project or maybe need a reminder to fill out your form. And just as great as having all this information here for you to see, the portal that we talked about earlier is like the client facing version of this dashboard. So they'll be able to see any jobs that you've ever opened with that particular client. And then within each job, just like this, they'll be able to see forms, appointments, invoices, and emails that you've sent back and forth. So they can even pay their invoice uh, without you having to do anything if they've got that portal link and they're actively looking into it. So those are all the steps that we're going to cover today in this class, although we have another class coming up on some more advanced techniques. But I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade Jim and Pam to a current job so you can see how we have two projects and what that's going to look like. You can see where they're at payment wise, their due dates, you can filter them or sort them by any of these different things here and even customize some of that if you want different, uh, different information shown in these columns. So just imagine if you have all the current projects that you're working with. If you're working with 20, 30, some people work with over 100 products at once. Um, and the power of having all that information right here at your fingertips and not having to sort through your entire inbox to find them. So that's my favorite thing about Devsado is just that it's a consolidation tool for all of the information that you have regarding any of your current projects. All right, I hope you enjoyed that teaser. And of course, you can check out the full class on how we use Dubsado as a stationary designer for proofing, contracts, invoices, proposals, all kinds of things using the link in the description to take you to a free two-month trial of Skillshare Premium, where you can access that course for two months free of charge.